What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh Pro Duel video. A new zombie tuner was revealed a couple of days ago, it's up on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, but there's still, there's still a very small error in the script, as you'll see in a couple of moments. Like, it's very similar to Plague Spreader, as soon as you use its effect during that turn, um, you know, when then after it's special summoned to the field, it will leave the field eventually with, let's say, uh, a Synchro Summon. Your Necro Shinobi or Shinobi Necro will be banished, but that particular effect is not working, but again, we'll just keep track of it and you know not abuse that particular mistake. Um, Necro Shinobi I think well on first sight I, it was like at least when I saw the effect nah, this doesn't really look that great but then it struck me you know there are a couple of things that I definitely like about this card as you will see in a couple of moments during the replay I'll come back to those things. 40 cards in the main deck, I've made some uh, changes compared to my previous build a couple of weeks ago, I think. Pretty much upgrading the deck and cutting it down to 40 cards, dropping a couple of quote unquote dead uh, Vendred cards in the main deck. Since again, this is, this is not a Vendred deck. Raven Blood Slayer is here in the main deck because simply it's a level 6 and I want to turbo out my Beatrice as fast as possible using, of course, your. Um, Level 6 Synchro, for example, using your Vendred or your Raven Dread Slayer, and of course, focusing, heavily focusing on your Banshee and your, um, you know, your King, your one of the new boss monsters for zombies to get some stunnish things going with your zombie deck. Depending on, you know, the new structure deck for zombies, maybe getting a new level 10 Synchro monster. Same for the Vendred Link, like how good is it going to be? Um, you know, the, the, the deck might change and, of course, might become more of a Vendred deck, but then that again heavily depends on the new support. So let's see a couple of example duels. Alright, so first example, again going first, opening with, uh, you know, a pre-preparation of lights immediately tutoring your ritual engine. My opening end wasn't the best, but um, again, just get Vampire Sucker on your side of the field. The Vendred level 2, you know, gets you an instant special summon from your graveyard, can potentially trigger your level 2, um, your Necro, sh um, you know, your Shinobi Necro. Uh, but again, it doesn't really, at least depends on your hand, right? You can take the chance of drawing that extra card and then, you know, using that particular dark world dealings effect in some situations that can definitely be good if you have multiple monsters in your hand uh, let's say Mizuki in best uh, case scenario or maybe your ritual monsters which you can definitely send to the graveyard for that extra draw that quote unquote upstart goblin or you know dark world dealings is more appropriate this particular setup is definitely something I'm working towards to first turn at least I try to write um, especially going for both vampire sucker if you want, I think you want the going for the um, summon sorcerer. Summon sorcerers will eventually search your goblin zombie, and well, again, goblin zombie it gets your extra special summons going. Your f it, 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 it's pretty much like the Goki shenanigans, right? And that's something I somewhat dislike about you know the. The, the current way of the game is that the, the extra link possibility of zombies, which is again very similar to Goki's, you know, using uh, Goblin Zombie multiple times, thanks to your summon sorcerers being able to search it out. So again, very similar to Goki is that the possibility of your zombie deck that you can extra link with zombies might be just a little more competitive, since again, it's, it's the, the possibility of going for the extra link just... Again, it, it's most of the time just instant win against a lot of decks. So it feels a little bit um, like that the extra link possibilities of zombies with again some extra deck, um, you know, you have to waste some extra deck spaces to nightmares might overshadow this way of running zombies, right? Getting the extra normal summon of your goblin, of course, this is uh, a change I've made compared to my previous build. The extra normal summon just extends your place, right? Getting extra solitaire or, you know, the uh, some Mizuki or well, of a go or a yeah, Gozuki on your side of the field. So again, the option that I want to work towards too is getting Beatrice on the field. Same with Summon Sorcerers. Beatrice will tutor first of all. You're the Banshee, immediately searching out the Zombie World, and of course, during your opponent's turn, you will use well during his draw phase or standby phase, use Beatrice 
for a second time to send your Spirit King from your deck to the graveyard. Spirit King can banish, you know, something from your opponent or something from the graveyard as soon as a zombie monster's effect is activated. But again, thanks to Zombie World, that's pretty much like every monster on the field. And something gimmicky is that your, you know, your Spirit King can potentially, if you want, banish your level 2 tuner, your Shinobi from your graveyard. Again, potentially special summoning itself to the field. So again, as you saw, it's full effect. It's not working. Again, the level 2, it should be banished, right? After it, that it's used its effect to special summon itself from the banished pile. It should just banish itself again. But again, the effect is not working properly. But again, it's not abused here in the video. So that's definitely something I like about this new Necro Tuner. Again, it's also a level 2. Level 2 Dark Tuner, by the way. So opening like options for Beelze. Again, that, that's definitely something I want. Or at least that's definitely one of the advantages of the new level 2 Synchro. And also that might come up, but probably won't. Um, at least, I mean... It, it can definitely be an option, right? If you have a Solitaire, Solitaire can obviously tutor your uh, Uni Zombie, but you know, your Shinobi can also be special summoned from the deck if you use your Solitaire. So that might be good of, well, you know, instead of getting a Uni Zombie or you already used up most of your Uni Zombies, just go for your level 2 and possibly use its on, uh, on field effect, right? Its Dark World Dealings effect as soon as you special summon a zombie monster from your graveyard. Once per turn, right? This is also something that, at least this particular play, might be very very solid in the near future by the time we get our new level 10 zombie uh, revealed. I believe that should be the new zombie structure deck, depending how good it is, right? This new Sh- or at least it's not really new, but the level 8 Shira Nui does have the effect that, you know, in special summon to banish a zombie from your graveyard and then banish, just banish your uh, shinobi from your graveyard. Shinobi will special summon itself because it was banished and then potentially opening up a level 10 zombie synchro play you could run the level 10 shira nui synchro but again space is an issue in the extra deck you would rather want more links right but that's up to you but i don't think the level 10 shira nui should be main deck in your or at least should be uh, put in your extra deck but depending on how good the new level 10 synchro is going to be the level yeah, the new level 10 zombie synchro is going to be this play might be a very very generic and standard play in the upcoming future right so again going first i mean yeah hand traps are still is it's one of these decks Biggest problems, right? Called by the Grave might be an instant 3 off currently at 2 only, but definitely you could put it in a main deck at 3, stopping your opponent's Ash Blossom on your pre-preparation of rights. It's, it, it, I mean, it can just be a blowout if your opponent has that, and then pretty much stunning your place uh, throughout the, you know, your own turn and maybe the next turn. So ending with Beatrice was, I believe, an okay option. Sending Ban Banshee indeed from your deck to the graveyard, searching Zombie World, and then hopefully during my opponent's turn, send Spirit King. But again, an Ash Blossom prevented that right. So a bit unfortunate. Another option here, again, you know, and then this particular play wasn't shown yet, but I think one of the best two card combinations that this deck can pump out is, or at least can have, is both a Solitaire and Pre-Preparation of Rights. And thanks to your new level 2 tuner, you can add something extra here, you know, with Goblin, uh, Troymare, at least Nightmare Goblin, right, getting the extra summon. Summon Sorceress will tutor your Goblin Zombie if you want. And, but again, that needs some extra deck space. You can potentially end up with multiple link summons, you know, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerberus, etc., etc., potentially leading to an, an extra link or, well, you know, having that co link shenanigans going with the Nightmare engine. But again, that's up to you. But this is definitely uh, also good of ending with Beatrice. Again, setting up your zombie world and your spirit king. And of course, having the Omega ready once per turn. So this particular, at least this particular two card combination of both pre-preparation of rights and your solitaire can lead into this particular setup. So again, quite strong, unless of course your opponent has one or multiple hand traps. Maybe one, at least you can dodge, maybe like one hand trap, but two is definitely too much. But with Call by the Grave, that might, um, you know, that might help of getting uh, this particular 
setup rights. The preparation of rights again, getting some shenanigans going. Boral Sword just uh, gives you extra attack power on the field. Now I should be able to attack for a game. Yeah, the, the effect negation wasn't that. Uh, it was just a misclick, but it doesn't really matter that much. So again, this is currently my build. Like always, feel free to leave suggestions depending on how good the new Vendred link is going to be. It should be announced like very, very soon. I might uh, change this particular deck or maybe, you know, main more Vendred right? But that heavily depends on the new Vendred link. And of course, the new zombie monsters from the structure deck will still be revealed uh, very, I think, very, very soon, right? So. The new zombie, uh, again, very good. It can potentially lead to a level 10 synchro summon. It's a dark tuner, dark world dealings effect. Can help you out replenishing your hand, setting up a Mizuki in your graveyard that's potentially stuck in your hand, right? Can be at least your level 2 tuner. I mean, Omega can send it back to the graveyard. So, so many options for this new tuner. And again, depending on your new zombie support, this uh, deck will definitely get stronger. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.